point out with them. Nitro's gonna put the wall over. They have to take out the one player on site though. If they don't do that, then the Vig is gonna be up, and they do. Now this, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. The rotate's gone. Yes, they lose everybody though, and they know. Wow. If that worked out, it would have been nice, but no, it doesn't. Only three players are fighting against five. The stack was already there for Gen G, given the peak down cat. So now they have to take space back and try to fight before they can even respond. It's a 2v4. Difficult position for 100 Thieves. They would have loved to get away with maybe one more frag, but it's four strong steel. The first tag. Let's have to back away, though. They're going to use the Owl Drone to scout things through. Ethan on the... Angle towards lane. They are going to start to funnel in one at a time. Ethan finds one for now. The 2v3 still possible on both fronts. Down to steal. And the shots won't be good. Very well played with Genji on the read. Dude, I thought as they took down one player inside that A site, I thought it was going to be good. But Genji challenged. Has to, push, has to push Luna back a little bit. But it's just five stack through the middle. Sean, with this angle here, the spray through, has the dismiss to get away, but he has support from Kusta, and this is slowly falling apart for 100 Thieves. Mikael Gimo on the flank. Should be around for Gen G. I like the attempt, though, from 100 Thieves. Just hit your head on the wall and see if you can push through mid. Yeah, barrel through mid, I like it. So trying to get rid of the Phantom over the top of the wall. Destroyed. So that Gen G can't carry it in the next round, but I don't think there's a gap there. <laughs> <laughs> He's fine, trying to find something, but I thought now GMD will take him and also recover the fans. Actually, in there, one of them is win, but GMD responds. Austin's trying to push through at the same time. They don't find anything. They stay on the stairs. Sean to try to find something, and Kusta's on the stairs too. <laughs> My goodness. Shut down. Uh oh. Shock dart the track, just down the nitro. Can't find another to bring his team back. And that's a boat. Drone here. Tags Asuna. No Hunter Sphere available oh. for Mikhail. Ethan swings on it. There's still more. Oh. And they trade out. Wow. Spike down now on Cat. Asuna has to recover it, but they're pushing him hard. Oh, no. The firing squad. They lose the op, but 100 Thieves lose their life. Nitro is trying to get a little bit more space. This is the Nano Swarm. That'll push them back. Do a little bit of chip damage just down to Hiko. You called it out. You set this up. They wanted that mid control. They got it. Now Hiko is going to have to look for picks. Can't retrieve that spike quite yet. He's got three players looking towards him down cat. This round looks identical to the one versus four that Hiko shot. That's why the observer's like, yeah, let me get on Hiko right here. We've seen this literally yesterday. Gen G still fighting Hiko in mid. Oh, he makes no. it hurt. Yes! Oh, almost oh. got it again, but Gen G Kusta's there. But a four versus five, and again, base is loaded. There's the ult trying to be put down on top of there, and it does. It's just very soon to come. There it is instantly for Hiko. That's the cheeky spot for the lockdown still manages to be destroyed now of course the push starts to come through steel with one ethan with another nitro with the third it's coming up huge still the 2v2 nikhail and gimo they'll take him apart but do you have enough time to defuse it's going to be close i think he should be okay that's round number six six in a row for gen g this is turning up to be a stop meanwhile the rest of this play Steel has got mid control, at least the bottom mid, with Ethan smoking it. Oh. Nice swing from Asuna. That's the one wine player they had. Space, and I'm surprised to see Win in there. No Tailwind available to get out of that situation. Not to mention Mikael wasn't quite there to help him out. There is a trade across the map. Usta, take down Steel, the Owl Drone in sight. Smoke, back down for Guimont. Tries to delay them for the most part. The showstopper will find its mark onto Mikael, but still the TP up. Iman's there to find the frag of the players pushing on through. Still the spike needs to be picked up, and now it's Hiko's job. Usually playing off site, he'll come in and plant. Now the retake for Gen G. Kusa finds the back of Ethan. Hiko's still down below playing with Asuna. They're gonna have to go deep underneath. In dark, all three players above. I like that from Gimon. TPing on top of the wow. generator, but Asuna possibly for the ace. No, he fails to get Sean, and that's the seventh now for Gen G. Sneaky going on from Gen G. No win push. That space taken. 
Could take space now on B main and A main, but no, Wynn's got the op. Kusta pushing down mid once again. He's left by himself. No escape here for Kusta. But Sean is backing him up top mid, and he starts to fight. Don't want to be fighting the Vandal of Sean long range. Not with just the bears. Oh yep. my god. Come on, man. Those are... Oh, they separate. That's at least the start there. Thieves, bit by bit, inching close. Still one player towards heaven. And wins going to be very late to the party. 2v3. John here with the Empress, though, can make matters worse for 100 Thieves. He has to worry about the peak here for one Nitro and remaining. deal with the player on the jump up angle. That's Suna. He will find his mark now. Win with the op. 3 HP, though. One to one. Shot's going to be good onto that player. The boost for Nitro. He's afraid to re-peak. It's an op for crying out loud. Here's the smoke, though, to deny the re combo, but Nitro is quick to act. And the eco res, 100 Thieves put these three rounds. Still a good chance here for 100 Thieves. Quickly up towards Cat this time, though. Potentially, Jim B now going to fight with a drone. They might actually find g and then push quickly. Hunter Fury now on street, as I was talking about earlier. And they clear it out for now. But Quinn, nice shot for Asuna. Ethan also trying, but Mikhail is hidden next to the door. Finally, Nitro takes him down. But it's trades all around. Gen G find it 10 to 2. They. Okay. All is up for Nitro, not allowing this B split. You're seeing a lot of that action towards the mid side, and you're going to see 100 Thieves pinch in on the opposite front as well. Steel and Ethan working down Cat. Nitro with the initial pick, but still, now they've managed to make their way onto the B site respectively, and that split is no longer necessary. Now it'll be a 3v4 retake. Make it a 2v4. Spike will fall, but 100 Thieves in the driver's seat for the round. Ethan's here. Gonna regroup with a lot of people. They take all the control possible now. Kusta and Mikhail left alone in the site. Oh, it's gonna be close on the default plant. Not quite there though. That's where they're playing towards. Shots are gonna take members dangerously low, but it's down to Mikhail. You can only find one. Hundred thieves salvage the pistol and ball. Boy, did they need it. You look at this A side. Steals only with the Bucky, and there's not much else. Tries to do the cheeky nano storm, but we already know that. Then G stole the setup. So we already know that they're prepared. It doesn't matter though, because they don't need the kills necessarily to play a retake. Then G just want to get the spike down, get some additional credits moving into the next. If they can find some value, they will gladly take it. But they're just going to take this one clean and clear. A good bonus for them to follow suit. Usually, you'll lose a player or two. They only lose one can move forward with their solid bonus. Will they be able to start a similar dominating trend that we saw for the first half? Jinji went straight for what? Seven, eight rounds in a row? The pinch is on. Suna anticipating some of that early aggression towards mid. We'll find a player, Nitro with another one, but it's up to this flank. We need one, find one, but unfortunately it's not the trigger discipline. Quick trade for trade. Asuna on the chase will find Sean. Down a win, 1v3, 100 Thieves are on track to secure another round, but a 1v3 is very doable for win if he can find some individual 1v1s. That's a big flank. That could be dangerous. Meanwhile, they've got sight control, and yes, Steel is gonna fall. Asuna's gonna fight back that spike. They don't get it in the sight, so it's okay for now. Oh, but that's gonna be a close player. Sean waiting on the opposite side of the smoke. Nitro still with the flank, and they'll take them apart bit by bit. Last Two players from Gimo, not enough despite teleporting back to sight in Kusta. In a little bit of a uh, awkward scenario. Spike will still get planted and still will get defused. Hunter Thieves put another one on the mid side. He will have to fall back as when getting a lot of presence towards the seventh side, Ethan will send him down. Sooner will help deny entry towards that heaven side. Still the action continues to develop. Coil and bubble and steal with the 3k. Another round. That was the eco for Gen. Tensions to the action on site while Kusta's developing the flank. Still, things have subsided. Kusta just find Nitro. The hit is as anticipatory as it was. The time is ticking. They need to get involved. That spike carrier down the drain. Still the action from the top side. Asuna now with the showstopper. It's gone. Kimon saves the day. Now just down to Hiko. 1v2, everyone is injured. Shock Dart comes through. That's the flick. It's almost good enough. Wynn's got a lot of control. They're going to push out. 
Oh, this is going to be close. They have both anchors here, Steel and Nitro Asuna as well. They are all going to take them apart bit by bit, shot by shot. The B main push gets stuffed completely. Wow. It's a flawless 400 Thieves in the window. Doesn't matter about the lineup, the spray. Almost loses it though, but Genji are starting to funnel in. Shot's going to be good for one, one around the generator steal. It's good, Nitro for the final. Now the wall's gone. Smoke off, but it's not the correct smoke. Still, this op has an angle. They'll push in. Shot's gonna be good enough to win, but it's not enough to take him down. The swap to the frenzy. The blades are good, but it's the damage from the B main push. The spike is down. Ethan no TPs to cave, and it's down to the 2v3. Mikael alongside Kusta. They're pushing back. Ethan's already there, ready for the spray through. It's just down to Mikael. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to OT. Doors closed though, or sorry, rather already destroyed. Oh, Ethan just barely dodges underneath the dice. Eco with a great opening pick, but win. Finally finds some value. Still not down. He's low on HP. Sooner will take him down. All up to Sean in the 1v1. And guess who you're up against? It's Hiko. Spike is planted. He's got the Hunter's Fury. Somehow managed to bring it up. Now will drunk to clear things out. Sean's gonna push him. There's the tag. It's coming close. But he's ready. He's prepared. Playing the tight angle. Sean knows exactly where he is. And that's the initial overtime round for Gen G. 100 Thieves almost cracked that attack. But Gen G, once again, they continuously push. He's in a great position. There's a player behind you. It's Eco. You don't need him. Still, four players remain. They're starting to push forward. Nitro with one playing close towards the default site. But it's 2v3. Spike now being planted. It's a little bit of a tighter spot. He go with the spray. It still goes through. Now down a win. He's got to run and rush over towards the site, but he goes in a great spot. Now he's going to be smoked off. He's going to be paranoid as well. And that is going to be the round for 100 Thieves. We go back again, Bala. Piece of the puzzle. They will rush over towards A. Through the tree room. Turret's gone. Ethan's playing the pest. Shot's going to be good onto the first. Going to start to think about dropping down. Can't think fast enough. Wins quick on the jump. Finds the frag. Steal from range. Kusta with the refrag down to the 3v3. Things slow down. As soon as in trouble, he's gone and down for the Gorgeous. count. Down to Nitro and Hiko. But if there's anyone I want in this position, it's the both of them. Nitro with the first initial swing. Hiko coming in from the flank. They'll put up those nano swarms. They'll be taken down. Nitro anticipating a potential tree flank. But he's going to join Hiko. On the push. Wow, a lockdown comes through. That is so scary for 100 Thieves. That's put Denji in a great position. Slow down. Waiting for that lockdown to subside. Deco and Nitro. Players in hell, one close generator. Still, now, one comes easy. Rookie Maw, but it's all down to Hiko the clip. No, not the clip. Potentially, it might fall all the way back to main. Nitro's up on a wall in that case. And this is definitely nice. Still has to defend the flank here from Krusta, and it's not going to be coming. Smoke comes down. Here comes the push back, the retake. Nitro's in a great spot. The swing wins right beside you, but it's a quick hit down to the 2v2. He goes in trouble. The spray It's going to find at least one. Steel versus Sean. The spike is sticking. He spots him. He sprays him. He finds him. A Ooh, the wall. They tried this one time. It didn't quite work out. Kusta's really, really close, so it's not going to work again. And they know. They know what's happening. Denji responded greatly last time. They're going to take the peaks, though, off oh. the stairs. I don't know if that's the play. <laughs> Nitro finds two, and they've opened up the beast site. Is there a smoke for spawn? No, not just yet, but it doesn't wow. matter. Asuna's still up on top. They're going to close the switch and maybe close the round out. Just two left. Nico swings on them. Nitro for more. Oh. Wind's actually gotten it. And he gets away, but only one HP. Yeah, but the spike's on A. <laughs> Despite the quick hit on to B. As they can, no matter how many of their bodies fall. 100 Thieves advantage again on the attack. This time they start really to play defense. They've got to close out. Genji more towards A this time, not dealing with that wall whatsoever. That means no switching no here. Uh -oh. Nice tag though, and that's a great start. Steel and Hiko combined to get a tag through the cat smoke, and they're hitting A though. Yeah, this is a tough spot to be in. Another shot for Ethan. They're holding down the site. Still three players remain. They managed to make their way in. Nano swarms galore, but still 
No members of 100 Thieves on the site. They're going to work their way in the retake. Blast back for Asuna. Doesn't find oh, no. anybody. Look at this jump up angle for Sean. They're just trying to get a couple of tags. Owl Drone comes through. Here comes the Leer. Frag onto Asuna. Now a 3v4. A little bit more doable for Gen G, but the angle's tight for Steel. Shot's going to try to be good. Good onto one. Good onto two. There's one more by Generator. It's Nitro. 100 Thieves close out map number one. After being down, spawn. They're gonna clear oh. all the angles, make sure that nobody's out of position. Sean and Win pushing back in from the opposite front. A long C flank that's gonna come fast. Hiko has to fight it and win it. Otherwise, they're gonna be pinched on the site, and he's gonna give it up. They've not planted for spawn either, so they can't retake space. It'll be a drone and shock starts to push. This is the space they have to take. No, and Ethan wins the fight. Maybe on two. No, crash away, but Asuna wins it. Yeah, that was close. Still, Hiko back here. The updraft over is going to distract him. The action continues. Nitro all on his lonesome. They're all low, and he's got 100 HP. The hot hands will make it a little bit more difficult. They are starting to defuse. Nitro will not be able to get there in time. The crutch deep, and they could just rotate back to see. He's gotten past the trap bars of Kusto as well. Asuna's going to have to fight. He's left alone. They're going to come back down. Actually, there's going to be a trade to swing with you, too. Only a classic Mikhail has a specter. It still does get something, so potentially some room to work with, especially if Nitro or, uh, Hiko's able to win this fight. One what? Wow. Last player Hiko got one, too, so it's a one versus one. Hammer as tough. well for Steel. This is possible to spot where he's at. No. 30 seconds left. Yeah. That camera. It's up the Venn diagram, and he will back away the spray from Kusta to give him safe passage. Yeah. But now paying Come attention to towards this A side, John's going to get to safety too. Boom ball out for Asuna. It's going to get rolling thunder. They're up in the sky. Nitro's connected with one. Steel is pushing on the side, but he's full blind. A couple flashes used. From Sean and Mikhail and him remaining. combined to lock it down. Last player remaining is Ethan in the one versus four, and he will fall just as his teammates did before. And Sean pushing down Sewers. Paint shells though for Austin. He's stuck in the corner. They're gonna push him all the way. He's trapped, isolated, boxed in. The flash not in time for Nitro, and they're still gonna challenge. He does take him out though. Mikhail now has to fend for himself. Got the spike. One upgrade available, I think, or not. Should have been. Enemy yeah, on, on there, Owl Drone will spot players down open. long. Be an awkward oh, position to ult from, though. No. It's always potential. They could also back up and play retake with Shock Darts. I believe he still has one more at least. They're going to drone and push back towards A. No information gathered no on the other side of the map. Three players now here. Hiko does get a tag though. 30 seconds left. And I think, yep. Oh. There goes GMD. He's gone. Mikhail has to continue to lock down the site. Ethan only has a classic though. Remaining. Yeah. Hiko left alone. Classic of his own. And we've already gotten wind to swing on the site too. Where's the op? There it is. There, the flashpoint. Plus, deep cage is to clear up in towards the front of A lobby where we've seen Gen G push up into many, many times so far. Not finding anything. They opt to go to B. There's a drone through, GMD doesn't get spotted from it. He gets smoked off. Gonna be the spray through. Wow. Yep, he finds steel. Two big kills there for GMD. First on Asuna pushing through the challenge with no flash, nothing. Takes him dry and wins. Wow. Ult for Mikhail too. Round is falling apart. The spike's not even down yet. So annoying. Everywhere they go, they're dealt with some resistance. They try to go garage. Wins there. They try to go A, cages galore, presence. They don't want to deal with it. They try B, they set things up quite nicely. And by that time, the flank's already prepared. You've got a player pushes down C long, a player pushing down A long. They just get this mid presence is like a phase type beat, you know? A <laughs> baby bay up underneath the windowsill. But Suna tries to get the lurk through Garage. Gimon's ready for him. Mikael takes down Hiko. But Steel has managed to gather a lot of space through B, through the link. And guess what? Kusta's in trouble! Oh no! Not the knife, just the shot. We'll find the frag, and now in a great position is 100 Thieves to control this site. They've got to deal with Steel up in heaven. We'll see if he drops down. No. Got the cage. He's going to have to hold the angle. Cage down. 
You might need a little bit of assistance here. There's two players on the opposite side of this cage. Paranoia through, but wins ready. Close at range. Frag comes through. Here's the rolling thunder. The red carpet's rolled out just for Gen G. Paranoia to follow up. Ethan and Nitro. A spot after shock to de delay the push forward, but they're flashed and Ethan can't convert. One more for shot. The spray almost good enough. It's win. A bit of trouble. Paranoia does make it a little bit more difficult to push him. But the flash point from Nitro. Utility from Asuna will find Kusta to back plat. Still smokes galore on the side. Mikael, Gimon playing close. Still going to be a, a dangerous threat, but now this little death comes through. It's the 3v4. Steel with some great shots. Still more to come as he finds another. And there Ethan as well. This is a round under thieves needed to come back from. Plant going down, just down to Sean. He's going to be backstabbed here by Nitro. It's a clean round. And they'll finally put one on the board. Him spray from 100 Thieves won't actually catch him. And cheeky. It's Ethan on the other side, still by himself through the cage. He tried it. But both Sean and Mikhail there. Wing, nice Ow. shot. You just get the tag through the wall. Asuna, though, is already in garage. Kusta, he wins it. Neural theft. Oh, it's just one after another. You'd think after a confident round like that from 100 Thieves, wouldn't be as this confident back the other way. And yet here we are. Win with the angle. Shots good Aww. after the tripwire. A flawless for Jim. And you do back away. Don't want to deal with that once more, especially with Asuna on the showstopper. Shots good through the smoke from Ethan. Now a doable round to reclaim some ground from 100 Thieves. Picks are good. They will find what they need. And Steel lurking with the Bucky. He's got to deal with Kusta from range. Can't quite do that on his lonesome. Asuna still waiting for any potential lurks through the doors. Now here comes the hit from Hearts of Thieves. Like being planted. Steel Kusta no is waiting. Run. The trip's underneath. This is a Steel play. Can we find it? Yep, the spray yeah. is good. Kusta. With the cage down in hell, the trip wires. It's a cage, it's a trap. The mouse takes it. Still the 3v4 up here for a win. Shot's good for Nitro. He's in a great position. Oh, 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 oh. There's a dash though. He's actually tagged by it. Asuna's gonna go with another flash, but he gets blind himself. And there'll be another. Yes! And Asuna oh. with two! That is so good for Asuna. He's down a low, still gonna get shock darted by Mikael, but the pushes come in on the long side. Hiko in the off angle beside. Boxes there can't fight and quite can't quite convert down to the 2v2 and they're flanking from the long side Spike will get planted which gives time for Gen G to get into the post plant Oh look at them They've read the situation they're pushing down and spawn They'll know that both players are coming from the flank Ethan and Steel they'll know as well Finally spot Mikhail is there going to be a smoke up in heaven to drop off GMD? He's 10 HP. They don't realize Spike's being defused. It's half. Ethan gets one. And wow. he gets the second. Result, Sean, though, takes out the camera garage. So that's Intel now gone. Nitro will stream the garage and see if he can spot anybody out. Initial engagement. Kusta does find Hiko. That might open up this C site, considering they've got a rotator down. Almost work. Almost, but it looks like that was only a half of my two for Kusta. Ethan challenging against the player inside of Covey, but as soon as that comes out, the peak from the left side of Long C ends up coming through. Nitro is gonna push this, try to give something to steal, but not quite gonna work out. He has to come up huge. Tougher buy here for Hunter Thieves. First to fall. Hunter's Fury trying to find so nitro Luna finds another as well a little bit more doable still three players for genji pushing forward flash is going to make things a little bit difficult but sean's still fighting player right through between 30 seconds left that sight line just down to nitro a couple of players injured he's gonna find one more now has the vandal he's got the spike as well just down to win the blade storm he's worried could the player jump up onto the box the blade storm the tailwind back nitro it's good! It's the clutch for Nitro, the fork! Oh, what a swing. Takes that out too. Neural theft and the cage. It's going to make things so difficult now. 100 Thieves, they do have the showstopper here for Asuna. 
try to retake some of the presence back on the site. The op here as well. Shots good for win. And now that might be all she wrote. Still two players remain. Ethan and Nitro. They'll start to push in. There's a counter flash as well from hell. Now Nitro 1v4. Difficult task ahead for him. Is it reset too? <laughs> Draft a spot. That's for info. Now they know, and they've locked him in place. Silva's dead. All right, the first tap though. Flash on the backside. Bakusta's there, and Win was ready to swing with him too. Is I think Genji knew the setup that was coming. You could see how Huin was playing the angle because there was no smoke on that B main. Still the same angle, but a little bit tougher to see the angle into the sewers itself. Kind of as the ramp declines. Nitro spots one going to happen towards this B side. Sean wins the duel against the Suna. This might be now the fake as they'll try to get a little bit more presence towards the garage side, but Steel is here. Win dashes through. Rico is going to make things a little bit more challenging, but he can't find a single frag. Now towards garage. Just down to two players as Ethan will fall as well. Now the Hunter's Fury is looking to deny the plant, but not a lot of time left. This is why they're using their ults here. Nitro does get tagged. There's the push forward from Sean and that player's down. Now the red carpet's gonna be rolled out. They have to work in tandem. Here's the double swing player close, right? That's gonna be one down. Another comes easy. Players over towards Long B. Ooh, Steel's pushing down through the smoke. Ethan's gonna find one through the smoke somehow on Sean, who I think was peeking above on top of the fountain. A nice angle there, but Kusta finds a lurk. Doesn't matter though. If Nitro can put him down. Yep, yeah, easy. Goodbye. Five versus three on the pistol round. Things went haywire immediately for Genji. Now, now look at the positioning here. He's quite deep down towards dust. He can flank them, pinch them in. Nitro's just trying to delay so that Suna can shift walk in. He does eventually end up falling, but now in a position to deny the plant. He's got to angle for it. Trigger discipline. That's the spike carrier down. And now all the work that they did to try to get into position for a successful plant is going to be thwarted by the Rays. One now the Roomba looking for a little bit more. Finds exactly what it needs. Gimo on the off angle out. Gen G members ready and willing to accept it. Yep, they'll come through and John with the eco frags. The firing squad is good. Now oh, there's one more on the opposite front. It's eco here in trouble. Shots good for Sean on that last and final one. Asuna does find one through showers in the meanwhile. He's still alive. He's still alive. How's he alive? He's in the smoke. Finally gets dealt with by win. Here comes Asuna. He's got the showstopper. Finds one. Steel as well. Anchoring from elbow. Finds another, but does get eventually traded. Asuna drops down through the cage. There's the tag, and it's looking good for 100 Thieves. Still two remain. Gen G. Gimol. Ikael back to elbow. And they're stuck. They can't move. Owl drone to clear things out. They know at least one down that direction and the other potentially on the other elbow side, but they don't quite know no, exactly. Positioning on the site itself. Right through here for Hiko, and this is a tough spot to be if you're Gen G. How can they work themselves back out? Nothing really available for Jim D. No paranoia. Do they have another guiding light? Because then they could flash peek together. Actually force these guys to split up. 30 seconds left. Other option, I'm not sure if they 100% know that both players are within here. I'm guessing they do, given the setup. No, my first and a second. You light still. These are pushed off the angle. They're gonna fight again. A good pair, Oya Asuna. Oh, the shot's good. Can he fight more? Are you kidding me, Asuna? That's three, and it's good. So strong, the fight back, GMD will also respond, but at this point, the round is already in control of 100 Thieves, though he did just TP across the lamps. Last player standing. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Thanks for opening the door for me, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and the res as well on Tahiko. Kusta in such an awkward spot. But what a round for 100. You hear it? It's given away. Shots good onto the first initial pick. Still two members here. Nitro underneath the window. Lurking Kusta does get dealt with. And now the players down long have been revealed by the dart. Win still with a tight angle. Smoke will allow Nitro to get into a little bit of a closer spot. But there is going to be the wolf that comes through. The oh. unfortunate 360 doesn't connect Nitro. He being a little bit of an unanticipated spot. Wins down with the up. Mikael does find the trade. They'll push on to site. 
have a little bit more control. Players on the opposite front. Shock Dart's gonna hurt Mikael so much. Now the 3v3 retake as the spike's been planted. That's with the nade. That could find something. And Showstopper out. He's forced them all the way down to the elbow. Meanwhile, Uka's completely smoked off. He finds one. Oh. It's not planted for them. He did it. They have to dash for this. Sean finds one, but Hiko finds the other. If he swings, it's half as well. Double. Both of them together. Thanks. And they combine for another five rounds now for 100 Thieves, and things definitely look different than the first two maps. It's going to be a fast round. Win already onto site using the Showstopper as well to try to get some space. Doesn't find success. Members towards mid deal with lurking Kusta, but now they'll high kill that spike over to A. TP to heaven. Still, the action continues on the site itself. Sean is one on to steal. And he's in the cubby. In a little bit of a tougher spot. Players from Hookah. This fight is continuing across the map. Spike now officially being planted for Tetris, but he goes making the blocks fit just down a win. Finds the pick onto Asuna, but no time left. He's got to get the spike. He's got to win a 1v3. He will save the weapon. And 100 Thieves secure another round. They give it up. Pretty quickly, actually. Nope. No, they don't. Here we engage. <laughs> it was the fake. Now they'll officially back away. Hunter Spear for Hiko just to buy time. Not allow any short pushes. Does get the final tag. Maybe looking. Oh, does he get it? I'll be close. But does not. Ooh, That's nice. Asuna down. Finally, the aggression. Hands out, Ethan moving over to Dark. Now Nitro trying to take the duel to Kusta. They will at least equalize for now. Dude, they're so good at pushing these spots after something else happens on the rest of the map. Execute here though with the Seekers, and they know the setup now. Eco and Ethan back oh. tight. Sean's gonna easily put him down, but a Seeker didn't go towards Ethan. So he sneaks by. Twin doesn't find him either. The cloud burst is secured. Oh. And Ethan for three. Mikhail left in a one versus three. And yeah, wow. there you go. 10 2 again. Hey, Zella, we'll be right back after. And just to heal through the pain. Zuna has been waiting for the membership to leave the A site. This is a little bit tricky because Kusta's lurking through. Steel's going to have to deal with him. And it's the TP left. over because Asuna's gotten a lot of gr ground covered. Kusta does manage to take Steel down as he wraps back around. Now it's Asuna just trying to deal with him, take away the pest. But already, Genji have arrived. Gimon's got control of lamps. They've got flashes galore. But Ethan will take out Bird Lady. And another one comes in for Asuna. Two more remain for Genji. There's a lurk coming in through short. And wind pitching in from pipes. Ethan There's on the off wall. angle. One enemy remaining. Shot's good for one, and you're right. There is a wall there, Sean. <laughs> Gotta wrap back around. Oh, that's tough. There are a couple low members, Ethan being one of them, but as soon as that happened, he swings to the other side. The repositioning is great, and now there's third shot potential with it. Click. Boom. One down. If you can do it, I can do it as well. Gen G say they respond with sh sheriffs and buckies, and they actually get the man advantage. And look at he look at the HP for Nitro. He goes left by himself in laps, and they have to recover the spike all the way back in bathrooms. Thirty seconds left. Uh, comes through. He goes in a little bit of trouble. Shock there trying to push Sean off the angle. Oh, that's dangerous now. Just down to Nitro. Sean, fortunate timing. Now the spike's gone. Okay, Rubel lets clear things out. Knows exactly where he is. Let's just play for time. That's a great answer back. Really off the back of Sean. On Sean, there's a paranoia through and a reflash. Spots one. The paint shells are good. He could actually take down Asuna, and the spray is good too. Well done from Sean. And he's starting to feel himself. Went down long. I don't think 100 Thieves are going to even get that spike down. Steel, though. Finds one, but it's the Ares. Now it's Cypher v Cypher, but Kusa's taking a long. And spot the information left. in. It's important. Mm, Boombot actually finds Twin. I've seen that before for him, but the operator's good. No dash away this time. So he has to fight through the shed. He's going to do it, but Nitro's outside at the palace. Has to be big for Sean. And unfortunately, it's not quite there. A resurrection 2. Spike going to be planted in short time. Just in time.
And DMD has the world against him. Healing. gave up the angle for a second that gives him room to find ethan camera out spots him again has to spend the time to remove the dart but still no information on the last two he knows where nitro is who's actually repositioned With the smoke to cover things off and nitro will finish him 12-4 sean mm. to cover win coming out the smoke but unfortunately he loses the duel and 100 thieves just everything goes their way on the initial hit into sight they also rotated Mikael economy. Oh, have to remember Let's to see what happens. Gambled into this round. Quinn's gonna be able to trade actually. Still though, fighting back. They gambled into the round with the economy and now they have low buy to fight back for match point, but still doable. Ma finds Nitro. Doable indeed. I know exactly Spike will still make its way through. Deal repositioning shots good from range. Mikael and Lamps, but Guimond is down. Bucky at hand here. One Guiding Light available. And Kusta who finds a long way around back through spawn. Kusta now through pipes. He's got an upgrade on the ground if he so chooses to pick it up. They need confirmation that smoke will be there. There's the recon bolt. There's the swing. Go playing a little anti, playing a little careful. Shots good onto one. Kusta just down to you. 1v2, neural depth. Where are those players located?